Hey, everyone, and welcome to another episode of Mission Impact Series with me, Tracy Allen, and Ty Boone. Um, I am the owner of TVA Consulting Group, where I help social impact businesses to design, build, and fund their social ventures so that they can live the lifestyles that they desire while impacting their community. And I am Ty Boone, owner of Ty Boone Enterprises. I work mostly with nonprofit organizations, helping them to move from startup and struggle to sustainability and success. Right? <laughs> We're going into a new year, girl. Yes. Oh, yeah. So far, we going into this new year. We got to wrap up this we year. Wrap up the old year, right? Yeah. We got to wrap up the old year before we go into the new yeah. year. We're going to wrap this up. Yeah. Getting ready to plan for your your next year which is 2023 mm-hmm. you know Tracy, a lot of folk and, and, and you know people come to us for business plans strategic plans funding plans and plan to plan and plan, plan. <laughs> and, 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 and at the end of the year plan, yeah. planners are in like if you sold a planner right now you're you know, actually work working on a planner for um, <laughs> social impact businesses right now yeah because i feel that they need it i know we've talked about it in the past um, all right, but I really feel like based on all that has happened this year, I know it's an absolute necessity that yep. they have a planner to help them through the quarters of yep. the year. So, and, yeah. and stick with it though. You know, yeah, you know, I, like, I bought like four planners. <laughs> <laughs> For different yeah. ones or different things like mm-hmm. like this you know this million dollar you know strategy plan mm-hmm. from you know, this other plan from a business coach this other i got four different ones because they're pretty right right i probably completed like one page in each oh of them. no i That's did a really horrible. good job with the planners right but when you're we, in your organization, you know, things like business plans and funding plans are very, very important to stick to yes. um, because they're going to help guide you through the next year. A lot of this panic and frustration and this desperation that we have seen all year, Tracy, comes because somebody had a plan that they did not implement Yeah, or did not have a plan to start. I mean, we are... I'm guilty of that. We're, we're We've been planning some things for the last three years that we yeah. still have not brought right. to right. we're gonna <laughs> It still comes up in my calendar because I never took it off my calendar. You didn't? No, oh, wow. Every Monday at 7 yeah. o'clock, there's an alert in my calendar that, that talks about what our, about our still didn't do it, right? No. And right now, some of this frustration that we're having right now would be so far would be alleviated if we actually did what we said we were going to do yes it would be because it's a necessary tool and there's nothing like it out there and we, we, are telling we, y'all search, the plan, we right? have searched high and low and there's nothing in the market like what we're nothing. planning to do together we just there. can't get it together to get it done <laughs> And here we are on Mission Impact Series, telling you guys. Yeah. Get to play. Get to play. But we do other things, though. We do the uh, some of the other things in our business. But business isn't perfect. It's not perfect, right? So you're right. never gonna have everything done. But you, mm-hmm. there's some some benchmarks that are non-negotiable that should be done on a yeah. regular basis. The non-negotiable ones, mm-hmm. and that's what we. I think what what this topic is about there's some yeah. things that absolutely have to be done you can let stuff you can there's some stuff you can you, that you have to let slide because life happens yeah. right you're like okay i just i can't i can't do that right now mm-hmm, mm-hmm. but when it comes to the fact that you have to fund your business mm-hmm. or you can't eat right that's <laughs> okay those are real words and if you've been following us long enough I've told you my story about playing around with my business and what happened. And Ty has told you her story about playing around with her business and what has happened. It's not pretty. Okay. It is not a pretty thing. So (laughs) it doesn't matter if you're a social entrepreneur, um, which, you know, you're a for-profit business or you're a nonprofit, you have to eat, your staff has to eat. So you have to have a certain things in place so that everybody's eating and not just eating scraps from the table, but eating well. Eating good. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> <laughs> yeah everybody needs to be eating well so that's where the planning comes in you should be planning wrapping up this year first of all let's talk about because that's what this one is really about wrapping up this year um looking at everything that you've done all year 
So like, if you listen to our other video, I think it was when we we're talking about year end fundraising strategies, right? Um, and Ty talked about, you know, if you're at the end of the year and you got $90,000 to raise and you didn't really raise anything else before the end of the, um, throughout the year, then you have a problem. Things like that you need to look at. Were you meeting your benchmarks for your fundraisers or your individual donors or your capital campaigns or your annual campaigns, whatever it is, whatever campaigns you had, your signature fundraisers, you know, what was your marketing strategy like? Mm -hmm. Did you even have one? Right. If you didn't have one, then, you know, this is something I need to write down. We need to do marketing strategy this year. Oh, we looked at Q1, 2, 3, and now we're in Q4. So we can look at Q1, 2, and 3. And in Q2, um, we didn't really make that much money. Hmm, I wonder why. Mm -hmm. Q1 was strong. Q3 was strong. Could it be because most people were away on summer vacation? So maybe we need to... Um, redo the strategies, you know, like strategize differently um, about what we do during that type of time of the year so that we can keep consistent income coming into the business. So things like that you need to look at, you know, how many people did we impact? Did we meet our impact goals, right? Mm -hmm. Are we following up with those people that were in our programs, right? Um, how engaged were we with our past um, donors, did we reach out to them at least once a month by phone or by email? Did we have any mixers this year? Um, were our mixers successful? Because remember, we talked about meeting people in person, right? And making sure that we build those relationships offline as well as online. So looking at your whole social media strategy, looking at your social media page, doing an audit, figuring out which posts did better than others, and then trying to make more of those types of posts. Mm -hmm. So there's like a slew of things that you need to look at when it comes to revenue, when it comes to um, people impact, when it comes to social impact, whether you're meeting the, um, the mission, vision, and values of the organization. There's just a, a lot of things that you need to mm -hmm. look at. When you're and, you know, and, and look, why didn't it happen and what can we do better? Right? Yes. You want to have those questions you know when you're wrapping up the year your team your board your whatever that's the question mm -hmm. right why didn't it especially if you're coming into the end of the year with you know feeling defeated which a lot of people do right you know yeah. like why why do we feel like this like why mm -hmm. didn't it have if we had a goal of x amount of whatever mm -hmm. but we're supposed to have this many people into our programs or if our gala was supposed to be this level of successful uh, what we're, we're not debriefing like we used to, you know, we used to, you know, when I worked in traditional nonprofit, every, I don't care what we did. There was a re debriefing afterwards. It doesn't even matter. I'm like, look, y'all. But there should be. We do it, right? Should be. And we're not, we're not doing that anymore. It's like, we're mm -hmm. just going on. We're just kind of running the year. We're desperate. And we're just looking for, if this game didn't work out, we're going to plan another one next, next right. month. Didn't even stop to, 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 to consider why this one didn't work as mm -hmm. it was supposed to work. If this fundraiser didn't work, we're just going to have another one in December because, but, but didn't, why didn't it work out? Exactly. What was the problem? What happened? Who was responsible for this thing? And I know we, we hate that one. We hate that question. The who was responsible part because we don't want to blame anybody. Right. We don't want to point the finger. And sometimes you're the responsible person or the, the person. Right. Sometimes it's, it's the, the, the person in leadership. The man in the mirror. <laughs> yeah. And that's yeah. a hard field to swallow. It's my fault because you know what? Yeah, I, I put this fundraiser up. I didn't do the things that I was supposed to do to make this work. I didn't bring my board in like I was supposed to. They, you know, you said in our, in our other, uh, other week, the board doesn't even know what they're supposed to do. Mm -hmm. You know, if you're, if you're the leader of the organization, you're, one of your jobs is to ensure that they know their job. I knew that. Mm -hmm. so that's why they weren't engaged. Can't yeah. be mad at them. It's my fault. I didn't train my volunteers. They don't know. That's why things are not working. So how can we make this better going into the next year? Having a solid plan. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and work at it. <laughs> yeah. Not sitting it down, not setting it on the table, not yeah. letting it show up in your in your phone and you're not doing anything about it, right? But working it and hold and have and be accountable for it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right? 
being accountable yeah. for, have your milestones, knowing what you're supposed to be reaching. You, you said it last, you know, every quarter, um, there's supposed to be some type of evaluation. You know, what? how did we do this quarter? And instead mm-hmm. of getting all the way, you're long gone if you're waiting until the end of your fiscal year or the end of your calendar year and you're just now realizing that. Ooh, oh, I didn't meet my goals. goals. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. And sadly, that is the um, reality for a lot of businesses mm-hmm. and nonprofits. So and that brings about desperation and desperation yeah. stinks. It does. Right? And people because people can to... feel desperation. Mm-hmm. It, it comes up, it, it, it's like um, perfume mm-hmm. and aroma a that sickness. comes off your body. <laughs> a it's, like you mu- it's like my 13 year old coming from basketball practice. Oh gosh. <laughs> you know, like, like the whole situation. Like, okay. yeah. <laughs> you know, like you got to, you got to walk home, get behind the car yeah. and walk to the house because it stinks. Yeah, it does. And people it smell really it. Does. And, you know, potential sponsors and donors, they smell it. They, mm-hmm. you behave like it differently right. even though you think because in your mind you are still you know putting that what you normally put out there people can mm-hmm. smell that desperation coming off of you mm-hmm. so you don't want to put yourself in that situation so take the time to wrap up your your year um by looking at the benchmarks you set for yourself for the year of 2002 break that down into quarters break your quarters down into months your months into weeks and really assess what has happened throughout the year to bring you success or bring you failure. You have to do that. None of it is pretty, not the successes, or because it's a lot of work, right? Um, but you need to actually do it. Take some time off, close your business down for the last three days, four days of the, um, the year, and really sit down with your team. You're not servicing anybody and really analyze and create a plan. Bring in a consultant to help you, someone who's good with strategic planning, someone, you know, somebody who can help you because a lot of times we live in our heads. Like Mm -hmm. I have to get somebody, I do a lot of strategic planning, but I need to bounce my ideas off someone else for my own business because Mm -hmm. I just think I'm great. (laughs) I know this kid right here, you know, like, I mean, let's be honest, like a lot of us cannot see our own faults. I actually am, to be really honest, I am very good at identifying my own faults, but I know there are areas where I have blind spots. And because of those blind spots, I still need to have that business bestie or someone who I can say, Hey, how does this sound? And Ty usually is that person. So um, <laughs> I'd be like, Hey, Ty, like, what, like, what, what, like, what do you think? <laughs> yeah, look, I need some I'm about to quit the whole business, girl. Can you pray for me? <laughs> exactly. So, yeah. Okay. Um, so that's kind of it. Take the time to wrap up your business so that you can be successful in 2023. All right? Bye, everyone. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and drop your comments down below. Bye-bye.